Do you see your nationality on this line? A nationality? Yeah, would you That's identify yourself as ethnic? Are you, you read it? Out of job, you fill out a uh, job application? Which one of these the, the 12 crowns do you look back to? You see, in the parentheses is what they will call us today. African American, Asian, Dominican. Okay, well, I would call us the Jews. You would follow the Jews, so you are a Hebrew Israelite in the tribe of Judah. If you go to Deuteronomy 76. Now, let, let me show you something. Let me show you what the Most High says about the children of Judah. And more importantly than that, all to a tribe. He saw a tribe make up the children of Israel. Right? This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. Uh -huh. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The word holy, Gadash in the Hebrew, means separate, to be set apart. Yes. So it said, us as so called Blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, we are set apart. We are sanctified from the rest of the nations. Read. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. It said, the Lord our God chose us, chose Black, Hispanics, Native Americans to be special unto himself. So he took us for a possession to himself. Yes. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Above all people. The East Indians, the uh, 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 Arabs, the Africans, uh, the so-called white man. We're above all those people. We can close the book and look at that, right? They go sit on the beach. I read that, yes. Oh, you read and, it? Yes, and I am uh, set apart and chosen by God. That's right. And I am saved. That's right. Now, do you know that that requires something of you? Oh, yes. That's being, that's Obedience being. to Him. Following His word. It's, it's, every word. it's every word. Every word. It's every word. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, and verse 12. Uh -huh. and now, Israel, what do the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways. So we have to fear him. We have yes, to walk yes. in all his ways. And all love him. And right. be obedient. And to love him and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Uh -huh. To keep the commandments of the Lord in his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. To keep the commandments and the statutes which he commanded them. He said he said he said he commanded them to us. Yes, yes, and they are. They are. So can I ask you one question, sis? Do you eat shrimp, crab, pork, lobster? Divide the hook and be cloven footed, that pig. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yes. 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 yes, Yet he cheweth not the cud. Uh -huh. yep. He is unclean uh -huh. to you. So, he's so the beef is you. okay because he cheweth the cud. The beef, the lamb, yeah. the goat, you know yes. what I'm saying? Yes. Those, those kind of meats, as long as they're, they're cloven footed yes. and they have those three, four stomachs. Yes. Because let's, let's take a look, you are what you eat, right? Yes. If you yes. look at the pig's living condition, if is you look at the pig, they not eat anything. Yes. They're eating human now, everything but the teeth. Yeah. See what I'm saying? So if, if you know that you're chosen apart, you know that you're special chosen of God. Set apart. Because you know that you're chosen Now watch this. This is the book of Leviticus chapter 11 and verse 9. Uh -huh. These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters. Whatsoever have fins and scales in the waters, in the seas, and in the rivers, them shall ye eat. So it has okay. to cover the scales and it has to have fins. So like yes. salmon, yes. with okay. those things like shrimp, those things like crab, those things like lobster, the seeds. 
sea, the sea moss and the seaweed. You gotta leave that out. That's the crawfish. Crawfish, crawfish, crawfish don't eat catfish, don't eat eels, all that you gotta leave that out. Because yeah. 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 remember, dude, I'm saying the city said we are whole oh, rift set apart from everybody. Yes, we are. Yes, if you look at uh, what, what's that? All the videos on, on the internet, Moab, uh, uh, the, yeah. the so called Chinese man, they go get eels, uh, 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 bats, lobsters, yeah. bats, 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 you know what I'm saying? So we're set apart, we're above them, so why would we do what they do? Yeah. We supposed to show so I am gonna work on not eating that. We got flyers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad. Now y'all look at my bad. We got a flyer for this. Look at the red folder. Uh, oh, we got the that main part. Yeah. The main part, we, we got the red folder. We got a flyer. Okay, I'll accept the flyer. It's all good. She did this. Thank you. Yeah, we got the YouTube channels in that top left corner. And when you get a chance, look at that YouTube. Thank you. First and foremost, we want to say call along your house. We will do so by Shem Yahweh Shai. That's all honor, praise, and glory to the Most High God, in the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. We are the Hebrew Israelites, and the sect of the Sakari, the Detroit, coming out here week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of this kingdom. That's and the, right! And the uplifting and the empowerment of so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, which make up the 12 tribes of Israel. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 5, and verse 3. Uh -huh. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. So everybody talk about, oh, we love God, we know God, we love God, we had this personal relationship. Well, the Bible tells, the Bible gives you the definition of love. You know that you love God if you keep his laws, statutes, and his commandments, right? Loving God isn't, I know it's in his word, I don't have to be obedient to his word. But I have a personal relationship with it. This is okay in my heart, right? You know, that was an elderly sister, so you don't want to go too hard on it. But her first mistake was saying, well, I feel. The most high not dealing with your feelings when it comes to his commandments. See what I'm saying? How y'all doing today, man? How are you? Look this out for me, because y'all see y'all nationality on this side? Which y'all identify as racially or ethnic? Yeah, I see you all a couple of them. Uh, which one which one you go back to? I go to I go to my boys right here at the top. African so called African American. Well you would be a good reason why from the tribe of Judah. You know what I'm saying? We up here trying to teach our people that the so-called black Hispanic State of America is trying to keep Israelites. We make up the 12 tribes that the Bible speaks of, right? In Deuteronomy 76. Now you see this sign right here? Uh, you, know, you know what this is? <coughs> this is this is a real postcard from the South that they was using our little black babies as alligator babies. You see what I'm saying? Man. That, this is a real postcard. This ain't no from a TV show we put. This is a real postcard from the South. Say that one more time. This is a postcard from the, from, from the South during the slave times. They took our little babies and fed them to alligators. It's alligator babies. See that down at the bottom? Alligator babies. That's what they was doing to us. Give me do around you 28, 15. I'm gonna, you, now, do you know why things like this happen? Do you know why things like our, 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 our young men and our young women get left down in the streets? Every 28 hours by a white cop, while we go to white go to these neighborhoods that we're in, when we see all this gun violence and the brothers hating each other. What's the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15? But it shall come to pass that thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So he said, if we don't listen to the law, statutes, and commandments that the Most High gave us, His chosen people, the Israelites, that all these people are really uh, this, this is the Bible. Read this. You don't, you don't, you don't deal with the Bible. Read. Oh, that is a God. You don't think it's a God? Why not? I mean, but what? Like, uh, yeah. what just led you to that conclusion? Like, God just don't exist. Science. Well, what's the science behind you getting here? What do you do? How did how did how did everything come to be? Oh, bro, don't ask me like that. I don't know. No, I'm just asking. You said, you said science. I'm just, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to see bro. where you get your moral compass from. Like, what divides right from wrong? Bro? Because without a God, without without a higher being, you know what I'm saying? What stops me from saying, I like your shoes? When I come over there, I take your head off and take your shoes. Not to say, you might be like, damn, that's wrong, bro. But to me, 
if, if there's no higher power to, to, to give me something to do, I would love you all that. If you like them that bad, I'll give it to you. Yeah. That's just it. <laughs> yeah. And that's fine. And now that it's not even where is the more public. I don't understand what you're doing. I'm just wondering, I'm trying to understand, like, where the disbelief of God is. Because the reason I stand so hard on this Bible, the reason I stand firm in the belief that the Most High exists is because of the prophecy that I see in the past. Because he told me over 3,000 years ago before things, things were happening. So God The Most High God, Yahweh. Who? The Most High God, Yahweh. He is the supreme being, the creator of heaven and earth. And all that in all end of that is. So what do you say Jesus is? Yahweh Shai is the son of, of God. Right. So, so, and so. You're a son of God. Do you believe? Do you believe? Do you believe? Which one is God in here? Yeah, I was shy. Do you believe in God? Do you think God is wrong? The Israelites say yes. The Israelites. That's right. That's right. Son. The son. Yeah, for so called Hispanic Native Americans. He died for our sake. He's our sake. So, so. What do you mean? What do you mean? What are they being saved for? Give me the amount of money to me. What are they being saved for? But see, first you gotta understand why they call it the Savior, the salvation concept we read about in the Bible. The Bible defines salvation as being saved from our enemies. So what do, what do they need to be saved from? They're the, they're the gold standard, they're the pinnacle. Well, what do they need to be saved from? They're not, they don't, they don't go, you don't go to West Bloomfield to see them uh, going in the gas station looking for the town trying to figure out who this nigga is and why they do You don't see them, you don't see them in West Bloomfield uh, 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 shooting their brother over a neighborhood that they don't own. That, ha that happens to us. That happens to our community. You don't see them being done down by 47 million dollars. That happens to us. You don't see them leaving the poverty break. You don't see them leaving the, uh, uh, the members in the prisons. That's us. We don't do that. That's what we need to be saved. We need to be saved from the hands of the person. And then that is the problem. This is the book of Luke, chapter 1, and verse 67. Bring it on. And his father, Zacharias, was filled with the Holy Ghost and prophesied, saying, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people. He hath raised up a horn of salvation, sal salvation for us. So he said he visited and redeemed his people. Raised up a horn of salvation for us. This is a priest, Zechariah, the Levite, talking to, him, talking to Israel. He's prophesying to Israelites. He said he raised up a horn for us. He visited his people. Those are possessive pronouns. Not everybody, right? In the house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies. We should be saved from who? Our enemies. We should be saved from our enemies. That's what the salvation is being saved from. So you said, why do you do our enemies? Yes. I can prove it. Oh, well. 28, I can prove it. Deuteronomy 28, 68. It's the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, and verse 68. And, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. And that word Egypt in Hebrew, my Cesarean means slavery. Uh, it means bond, it means my means with Cesar the rocks. So it means between a rock and a hard place. That's talking about slavery. Because if you're familiar with the time of Exodus story, then we was in slavery in Egypt, right, Reed? By the word of, I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there you should be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women. So, so, so what is it? What do you say? So by ship, we were going to slavery with ships. We walked into Egypt, we walked out of Egypt, we would need a ship to get there, right? So that's how you know that this that this Egypt is slavery. Well, it's not even to slavery. Did you say black people also have slaves? So uh it's a it's a we get off the we go to slavery with the ships. We be sold to our enemies. Now you ask yourself, how did the how did our ancestors go? How did our ancestors go? Well, I mean, I know how we got the translated slave trade, right? Okay. So it said, so it said, it said, we also have black people. That means we also have black I'm about to deal with black people also help the white man bring the slave. I'm about to deal with that. But first, you got to let me land my plane. Okay. So, like I was saying, they said that once we got into this the slavery with ships, we didn't feel nothing with ships. said, the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the word of, I expect unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there you should be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women. So when we got off them slave ships, when we got to the auction of blacks, we sold to them. We sold to white people. 
Yes, sir. So hold on, hold on, hold on. You just ask questions. So there are enemies. The Bible just says that once we got on, once we got to the slave the ships, we would be sold into our enemies for bond man and bond woman, for slave man and slave woman. We just admitted out to our own mouth that when we got off the slave ships, we were sold into white people. Okay, so yes, white people are our enemies. In fact, I'm talking about before then. I'm talking about before we got, how did we get on the ship? We got joined. We got this is the book of Joel, chapter 3 and verse 4. Bring it out. And yeah, what have ye to do with me, O Tyree and Zidon? Tyree and Zidon, if you look at historically and biblically, the Tyrians and the Zidonians are sold to Africans, right? right. So just because they are skinful, just because they are skinful, don't mean they are kinful. You know what I'm saying? So we didn't sell ourselves, but we had Africans that sold us. Keep reading. That's Israelites. And all the coast of Palestine, will ye render me a recompense? Uh -huh. And if ye recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? Because you have taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your temples my goodly, pleasant things. The children also of Judah, the children of Judah, southern Judah, and the children of Jerusalem, uh -huh. have you sold unto the Grecians. So the Africans sold us to the Grecians. That's right. right? And who knows? And, 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 and you know about Alexander the Greek? You know about Alexander, right? I heard the con the con Macedonia. Macedonia is in Greece. So it's said that these Africans took us and sold us unto the Grecians. That's how we got it. That's that's where the triangle comes from. Africa, Europe, America. They came over to Native Americans and Hispanics over to Spain, which then they came to. After they took this land, they came to Africa, got us, and sold us to the Europeans who brought us over here to America. This is the book of Amos, chapter 1 and verse 9. Right. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, for three transgressions of Tyrus, and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof. Because they delivered up the whole captivity to Edom. To who? To Edom. That's right. The so-called white man biblically goes back to the Edomites or Esau. So we said the Tyrrhenians, the Africans, they, they their, their main transgression was taking us and selling us to the Edom. And remember not the brotherly covenant. They remember not the brotherly covenant because during the time of King Solomon, there was a king who was in Haram. Him, him, and, him and Solomon had a bond. He said, you know what? Because they had a lot of like tall cedar trees. So we said, let me get some of this to build the temple. They made it, they, they took basically almost like a blood brothers pack, right? So they became brothers. So when they took us and sold us to Esau, they broke that brotherly covenant. They broke that bond. So that's how we got over here. So we asked if the black people sell black people to slavery. We didn't sell ourselves. Just because there's another dark skinned race, don't make them our people. Because the, the East Indians with the red dot on their forehead, this some dark people. But that's because they're not made of us. See what I'm saying? That's why the Africans don't like that. The people of Africa don't really like that. They don't. Now, Adam, why, why is that? If we all African, why don't that, why don't the Africans like us? Because we're not. Because we're not. I think we're not those people. You know what I'm saying? Chosen people, best right. people on the face of the planet Earth. That, that, that's the message that we're here to tell. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. A holy, special people. Holy means set apart of several. We are a separate people. A special position to the most high unto himself, three. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Above all people. So you ask what's the difference between us, Muslims, us and Muslims, us and Moors, us and Moabites? We're better than them in every single way. Romans 3. We're better than them in every single way. Because God, we, we have our, our main advantage is having the most high God as our power. See what I'm saying? That's what sets us apart. Those are religions. When you talk about Moors, the word Moor just goes back to the Spanish word Moreno, which just means black. So the Moors were a conglomerate people. It wasn't just one ethnic group that was called the Moors. You had uh, uh, Arabs that was called Moors, Israelites called Moors, Africans called Moors. Just anybody that was dark skinned was called Moor. See what I'm saying? Even Muslims. Muslims. Yeah, Muslims is a religion. We're not up here talking about religion. The Bible ain't a religious textbook. 
they, they took the Bible and made a religion around it. But this is a history book about the Hebrew Israelites, Come. about their God and the people. They're dealing with their God See, and the talk. people that surrounded them. See what I'm saying? So when you hear this Bible, don't look at it with a religious lens. You got to understand that this is your culture, this is your heritage. These are your laws, statutes, and commandments, and your forefathers that you hear. That's right. This book. That's, right. so that's why they, that's why they want you to keep on reading just John. Just don't read it. Just John three sixteen. God loves everybody. Forgive me. I know I raped, robbed, and murdered you for five hundred years, but it's okay. See, God said forgive. Let's love. Let's, no, that's not because because there's laws in here that say if you steal a man and if you be found in your hand, the man that stole should be put to death. What's he do with that? So I'm over here trying to get y'all y'all here to respect. They're trying to get y'all in here. This is what I said. This is why I was speaking. We read about uh, who you hate when you call Jesus Christ. That's that's your forefather. Moses, King David, King Solomon, Samson, these mighty men. Those are our forefathers. So we got to come back to the laws that God gave us. Because that's why we in America in the first place. Why aren't we loyal to that used to? Because we broke God's law, statutes, and commandments. That's right. But when you break God's law, statutes, and commandments, he's your father, the heavenly father. When you break those commandments, when you disobey your father, what happens? You gotta get punished, right? So we over here serving out our punishment, but it don't last forever. If you if you if you chastise your children, you might be mad at them in the moment because they disobeyed you, but you still love them, and you gonna come back and you gonna turn their punishment over. You know what I'm saying? They might have to clean their room, don't come out your room until I say something. You ain't just gonna leave them cooped up in there, lock the door, and just leave them in there forever. But until 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 you appease the rap and do what I told you to do, you gonna have to sit there and, and deal with deal with the consequences. That's right. Uh, That's what we going through right now. That's why we don't have rest. That's why we don't have peace. Because we're living on our punishment. This ain't the land of our rest. You know what I'm saying? This is why that everybody else can walk around and, and, and call us all these names. Niggas. Nigger Spicks. Redskins. See what I'm saying? They had a whole football team of Redskins. And then, then where he at? This brother right here is Native American. There ain't no Redskin. See what I'm saying? All these names are epithets. So you're God's chosen people. He was like the tribe of Judah. The same tribe that uh, uh, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, who you call Jesus Christ. And you got to write out of those names and be proud of that. Because God loved you. He loved y'all so much that he made y'all come from this nation. From this nation. He didn't promise that to everybody else. He didn't tell them to get it. He promised that to our forefathers. God real because you hear it. Because he said you are God. All I'm asking you know, brothers, is that you bring life from the tribe of Judah. There's laws that you have to follow. Okay, so if I start reading the Bible, it's going to tell me that. What is it going to mean to me? What am I Everything. All those questions that you have, that's just unanswered. That they're walking around this world, like, why is this happening? Why is this happening? Why are we, you know what I'm saying? I ask them questions all the time. It wasn't until I picked a book up that I got the answer. You see what I'm saying? You're asking, what we do. well, if I read it, what am I going to get from it? You're going to get the identity that was stolen. From you. You're going to get the identity that was beat out of you. You know, you, you know about Nat Turner, right? They had him as a slave. They, 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 they gave him the book for himself. They're like, oh, this is us. You had, uh, 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 you had like Harriet Tubman. She, she, she was, her name wasn't always Harriet. She had a Hebrew name. So our people are Hebrew. When they got off the boats, they had Hebrew names. You see what I'm saying? So when you pick up this book, what is it going to give you? It's going to give you the identity that was stolen. It's going to, you going to read it. And you're going to be like, man, that's all. Like, even when you read one of the, the conversations, you're going to be like, man, that's all. That's all that's all that's all that's all that's you see what I'm saying? You're going to be like, you're going to see yourself. You're going to be like, man, okay. When I read it for myself, this book really do come to life. You see what I'm saying? That's what you're going to do when you put the book up. The book got lost every commandments you got to follow. Don't shave your beard. Wear fringes on your clothes. Don't eat shrimp, wear crab, and lobster. Don't eat them with bottom of the food. Love your brother like you love yourself. You see what I'm saying? And, and that's something that just sounds kind of like, I shouldn't have to tell you to love your brother. I shouldn't tell you that when I see you, I don't know if you can't paint that I'm not supposed to be in love with you when I see you. Okay, so what you said was, okay, so should I, should I, should I, should I be mad? Should I be mad to a white people? You said, should you be mad? Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm not telling you that you have to do anything to white people. I'm just telling you that you have to recognize that those are, that those, that they are adverse to us, right? Because they're, nah, I hear that a lot. Well, you know, I got to know this white boy, he cool, he, let me tell you something. When shit hits the fan, kind is going to resort to kind. 
know what I'm saying? When, 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 they, when it's back against the wall, people don't go for what they know. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and here's the thing, we always say, oh, well, they're not all bad, they're not all bad. What did Muhammad Ali say? If there's 10,000 rattlesnakes and a thousand of them is good, do I take my chance and try to handpick the thousand and hope they'll protect me against the 9,000? Or do I just stay, do I just avoid all 10,000 of them all together? We avoid all 10,000. I'm not telling you hey, what you got to do something to them, touch them. You have to identify who your enemy is. You have to be conscious. You have to be aware. You have to be circumspect of, of, of the times that you're in and be aware of who's who and what's what. I got a question for you. Would you do anything to save your children's life? Would you do anything? So look, right now, death is coming to this place, bro. Death is coming. So, in order for you to not be a part of that death and not have them, you gotta do it. It's the book of Deuteronomy. What you gonna get by picking up this book? It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 1. And if it comes to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently to the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, and the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Take this book up and do what it's telling you to do. Then the Lord will set you on high above all nations, where we once used to be. Right, Reed? All these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee. Uh -huh. If thou shalt hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, blessed shall thou be in the city, and blessed shall thou be in the field. Let's tell the like same Christian read in John 3 16. And they just agree to disagree and walk away. I think everybody can be saved, but the Bible speaks contrary to that. They don't they don't believe the Bible's really hold the precept. We can show you what else you gotta look forward to. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 14 from the top. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them. So it said that the Most High will have mercy on our, our forefathers, so called Black Hispanics, and Native Americans. And yet again, choose Israel and the strangers, the other nations, get second that decision. The other nations will come join unto us. Now that don't mean that when we go, they just get to hold hands, sing through by y'all walking in, and taking our blessing. We're going to further explain. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob, uh -huh. and the people shall take them and bring them to their place. They said, We're going to take them. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. For servants and handmaids. We're going to possess them for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives whose captives they were. Uh -huh. And they shall rule over their oppressors. So, yeah, so we're going to take them captives whose captives they were. That's, that's justice, right? You, you're, you, you seem like a man that believes in justice. That, that's karma, right? You believe in karma? What goes around comes around. Yeah. So how much how much righteous is it that if, if, if somebody had us for 500 years, that we not just take them and rule over them? That's the only way to even the balance out. Well, anything outside of that, the balance is all out of whack. You see what I'm saying? So it's like that we're going to rule over our aggressors. We're going to take them to captures who's captures we work. You're going to be able to kill for them. You're not gonna have to worry about damn. I gotta get up. I don't feel like I will. Hell, I mean, I was gonna cut y'all off, but I gotta do the work at Post Thunder. I was just stop, stop. So I was trying to see what y'all was happening. But you should get a flyer. No, let me get one. Yeah, let me get one. 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 Hey, how do you feel about what he tells you? What you mean? I mean, I believe, I believe when it all comes down to 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 it, it's who you are as a person. What you feel? Well, what you feel? Yeah. I'm not, I'm not into yeah. I'm not into But this is, this is Okay, but yeah, like you said, yeah. you know, this is what comes down to that. Yeah, yeah, it is, yeah. because y'all said, you know, God is, 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 you know, it goes back to the Greek word, religio, which means to hold back, to bind, to repress. So, this can't be a religion, Okay, like boom, right? Like, like comic books, right? Uh, uh, Batman lore, right? If, if if you read about Batman lore, right, or, or Batman, right, you you're not gonna sum it up and be like, oh, that's a religion. You're gonna be like, that's a history, that's a story. His parents got killed, he became Batman, right? That's how it is with us. We, uh, we started off in rulership, we sinned, we we, uh, we fell off, right? A nation came uh, uh, came out of that Israel. 
you know, stuff like that. It go. It, it's talking about our ups and downs, literally. Right? It's not. It's not a religion. Like he said, it was turned into a religion. You feel me? So you can't say it's a religion. If somebody t uh, tomorrow say that, oh, Batman is, is a religion, you like, you gonna be like, oh no, that's not that's not a religion. And that's why he's defending it the way he's defending it, saying that it's not a religion. He's stressed on it. So I can believe it's that point. Like if you 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 lost the problem, but it's so you me back. What are y'all saying? That you're a Hebrew you gotta keep the tribe of children. This book is yours, you gotta keep the law statutes and commandments like the most I got the balance. And even to that brother's point, you know what I'm saying? Like he was talking about like Batman. When you read this Bible, go watch Lion King. Go watch Lion King. That, that's basically where we're going to. We're Sim, we're Simba, right? We're Simba. When Mufasa, were, when Mufasa was alive, Simba did the, 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 the what was a pride rock flourish. Yeah. As soon as Mufasa died, the scar slave the scar, that that's the oppression ruling over us, right? Yeah. And we're we roaming the wilderness with Timon and Puma right now, he buzz Timon and Puma for top. But guess what? When, when, when Rafiki comes and wakes us up and we see Mufasa in that sky, we're gonna remember ourselves. That's the that all praise to the most all praise to the most high. We're gonna remember ourselves when we're running through that wilderness. We're gonna come back and we're gonna take over life of the ours. If we give all our praise to our heavenly father, the one that created So be it. That's what it means. So if you say, if if if, 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 if you ask me, if you ask me, hey man, you take me to the store, you know what I'm saying? I'd be like, well, not right now. I take it about an hour. You say, hey man, that's not no religious. Yeah. Oh, that kind of do with God. No, just me. All right. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm talking about. I'm talking about going to church. And you say, you know, Amen. Hey, hey, let me show you something. Real quick. This is Romans chapter 4, verse 2. It says, And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect with the okay, perfect that's, that, and that's, that, that, that's, that's the thing you said. Okay. I don't feel like I'm proving it. It's like you asked me earlier. Hey man, I like your shoes. You can take the kids. You can take the kids. You can I get another kid. No, but I'm, I know, but listen, I'm, I'm basically responding to what you said. I'm saying, hey, Miss, I like your coat. Thank you. And she's like, No, listen, I'm, too. I'm, listen, I'm saying, bro, you said, because he said all praise to the most high, that that's a, a religion thing. And I'm, I brought that scripture out. You got to be transformed with the renewing of your mind. You got to break out of that Christianity mindset that, oh, that's a Christianity. That's religion. I'm not a Christian. So that's religion. I'm not, I'm not a Christian. Okay, and we're not a religion. That's like you're not a Christian, we're not a religion. I got Is what is what is exactly what we're talking about. You see, that brother couldn't come and he couldn't fathom the fact that this Bible wasn't a religious textbook. He couldn't even fathom. He could bring his mind to understand that just because I say the word God or I say the Most High, that that's not that that he's so indoctrinated that 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 oh my God, you're talking about God. It has to be a religion. Somebody give me the room 32 for me. You know what I'm saying? Because this is what we gotta realize. Oh, oh, we're talking about God, it's religion. Show me in the Bible where the most high gave us religion. He didn't give us religion.